This is the biggest headline around the world. A virus that has hit thousands of people, killed hundreds and doesn't have a cure yet. The coronavirus outbreak is a global emergency and Beyond is the only Indian network tracking the story with ground reports from China and updates from across the world. Let's start with India. There are three confirmed cases right now, all of them in Kerala. The latest patient had travelled to Wuhan recently. He is now in isolation. Last week, two students were detected positive for the virus. Five people who were showing symptoms of the virus have been put in quarantine. The centre has set up a task force. The Prime Minister's office, along with the National Security Advisor, held a high-level meeting this evening to take stock. They've set up a group of ministers to manage the situation. Meanwhile, all major airports in the country are using thermal scanners to check passengers. On Sunday, the government temporarily suspended e-visas for Chinese travellers. An advisory said that anyone who has travelled to China since the 15th of January can be quarantined. Two rescue flights sent to Wuhan have successfully brought back more than 600 Indian citizens. They also evacuated seven Maldivians from China. All of these evacuees have been placed under quarantine for now. Reports say they will remain under observation for at least 14 days. The spokesperson of Air India shared a video. A video that showed a group of six students celebrating their return to India. <laughs> What about the situation in China? Getting worse by the day. The coronavirus has now killed more people than SARS. There are now more than 17,000 cases worldwide. More than 360 people have died. The situation in Wuhan, the epicenter of this outbreak, is particularly bad. We spoke to CGTN correspondent Jarchin Zhu for an update. There is no public transportation yet uh, in Wuhan. As a local authorities suspend all forms of those transportation, including outbound trains and flights, and you really see people walking around now. But yet, on the streets, you can see uh, trucks and tax, uh, taxis carrying supplies and medical workers, as well as private cars delivering uh, daily necessities. And the, pu the, the public is following advice and remaining indoors. And shopping malls, restaurants and cinemas that are usually busy during this period, as you mentioned, the Chinese Lunar New Year, are all closed. Uh, but it's a very different story for the hospital there. As you say, that when uh, where medical staff have been working around the clock and are in dire need of uh, resources. So what is Beijing doing? It's fighting with America. At a time when China should be focusing on handling the crisis at home, China is playing an ugly blame game. And it's all happening on social media. Sample this tweet. Here, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs accused America of spreading panic and of overreacting. A few days back, the same account had blamed the Trump administration of, show, of showing no empathy. China claims that America has triggered panic with its response to the coronavirus. The Trump administration has denied entry to foreign nationals who have visited China. All non-emergency staff and their families were called back from Wuhan. Beijing said that these moves were an overreaction. Politics aside, no one can deny the fact that this virus is spreading and it's spreading very fast. So what precautions can you take? We've put together a list. It's very basic and it's also very effective. Wash your hands frequently. If you have a cough or cold, wear a mask. Do not travel if you're sick. Avoid close contact with anyone who might have a cough, cold or fever. Avoid contact with live animals. Do not consume raw or undercooked meats. Avoid traveling to farms or live animal markets. This is as simple as that. This is the best precaution you can take at the moment. If you're not feeling well or are showing any symptoms of a respiratory disease, consult your doctor the first thing.